welcome back to my channel it's me Essie so today's video I am just gonna be showing you a mini meal prep um, I am NOT a trainer I am NOT a dietitian or anything of the sort um, this was something that was requested from my Instagram family so I'm just putting it out here I struggle with trying to eat right so this is my attempt to keep myself accountable <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy this with me so to start off I'm gonna go ahead and wash off my sweet potatoes go ahead and scrub those really nicely I'm making two separate meals in this video this is gonna be basically two meals per day and this is gonna be a four day meal prep so I'm drying off my sweet potatoes and then poking them before I go ahead and put them in the oven I'm just using a little avocado oil here in the foil wrap and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the Himalayan sea salt I'm sorry Himalayan salt um, on them and wrap those up and stick those in the oven I believe I set the oven to about 400 or maybe 420 and I left these in the oven for about an hour so now I'm gonna go ahead and make um, the beginning of the second meal this is ground chicken breast I'm using a little bit of avocado oil in the pan here with some minced garlic and I'm simply just gonna season these with what I would normally season my chicken with so here's a little black pepper um, a little bit of that Himalayan salt again and then I'm also going to use some oregano garlic powder and I believe paprika is what I used as well So I decided to go ahead and add some chicken base stock to it as well. Listen, when I cook, I don't really have a set idea of what I'm going to do until I start cooking. So I felt like this was going to make it taste a little better. I added a little bit of water to it. Um, just because the chicken, ground chicken breast can be very dry to me. So I wanted it to have as much flavor as possible and be as juicy as possible because if you've cooked this before then you know that there isn't a lot of fat that renders from it so it ends up being very very dry and so I scoop a lot of the chicken to the sky side and then I added my mixed vegetables on the other side of the pan here and then I'm also going to season my mixed vegetables as well I'm using some garlic pepper here and then I'm also using some Himalayan salt on the vegetables only just so they have a little bit of flavor a little bit of oregano as well and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cook it all together and turn I turned down the heat at this point I probably cut it out but I did turn down the heat just so it would simmer and cook a little slow I didn't want my vegetables to be cooked too too um, long because if I'm gonna reheat this throughout the week I just wanted it to simply be just as good every day when I heat it up so now we're moving on to the brown rice I'm just washing it here you probably don't need to wash brown rice but I feel like I needed to because look at all of that falling out of the rice um, so I went ahead and washed my brown rice I'm gonna go ahead and put some water back in it to cook what I do to measure my water is I like to stick my finger into the pot and as long as the water line reaches about the first line on my index finger is how I know I have as much water, enough water in the pot to cook. There I am doing it now. So now on the stove, I'm gonna turn the heat up high. I put a little bit of avocado oil and salt 
and then also some cilantro. And what I'm basically going to do with the rice here is let it boil until all of the water is, there's that chicken stock face again. <laughs> what I'm going to do is let this boil all the way until the water is completely almost gone. Like not gone gone, but to the point where it's just a little, like you'll see little holes in the top of your rice. And at this point, what you want to do is just simply turn the fire completely off, leave that pot on the same eye, and then you're gonna take a piece of foil, cover it, and seal it as tight as you can, and just let that steam for about 10 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the salmon. Listen, the meal prep definitely required you to multitask and jump from one thing to the next. I definitely, you know, felt like I paused a lot trying to think about what to record next, but we did it, we're here. We're now moving on to the salmon and we're just cleaning her up using a half of a lemon and some water and just scrubbing it, just and expecting it, making sure it's nice and clean. Um, feel free to clean your salmon however you would like to. This is just the way I do it. And I'm gonna go ahead, after rinsing it off, I will use some paper towels just to dry that off before I cut it up and I season it. So before I plate it, or not plate it, but before I put it in the oven, I used a little bit of avocado oil on some aluminum foil on a baking sheet. I'm gonna, this is just how I like to make my salmon. Like I said, you can do your salmon however you wanna do it. This is just the way I did it. I used a little bit of Obey um, to start off the seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper and then some herbs I chose oregano which I'm doing right now and then I did rosemary and then I did a little bit of herb de Provence I think that's how you say it <laughs> and then we're gonna use um, some garlic some minced garlic here I love garlic on everything so I put a little bit of garlic on there and then the last thing I used was some smoked paprika and then I also decided to cut up some lemon slices and place those on top before putting it into the oven now when I cooked this I initially cooked it for about 20 minutes like regular baking and then the last 10 minutes I broiled it here's my rice all nice and done just want to take a fork and fluff it see that steam yes and then we're gonna go ahead and just simply leave it half on half covered and move it back off of that eye taking out my sweet potatoes and putting my salmon in and now I'm just gonna heat up these leafy greens, um, frozen green vegetables. This is my first time trying these and they were actually really, really good. Um, just pause the video and take a screenshot. Those are, those are some really, really good vegetables to get if you're looking for something quick and flavorful. I did not season it at all. I simply just followed the microwave direction and put it in the microwave and then once it was done, I put it in my dish with the salmon dinner. So here I am just plating my food. Well, not plating, but you know what I mean. I'm setting up my meals now. <laughs> so all the meals, I use the brown rice. For the smaller dishes is where I put the chicken and mixed vegetable concoction that I made up and then for the other dish it was the salmon sweet potato brown rice and leafy green now the salmon dish is something that I would most likely typically eat right after the gym um, just because I'm usually the hungriest around that time dinner time I don't really eat that much but my post-workout is when I feel like I consume the most food 
And so this is just, you know, a way for me to not stop and get something that's, you know, unhealthy. As you all know, it's a struggle. And for whatever reason, all the good food places are around the gym. So this is just my way of knowing like, hey, I have food at home. I will go home and heat up my salmon dinner. And then this other dish is something that I would either eat, either I would eat this um, like for dinner or maybe like earlier in the day if I happen to go to the gym late. I will say that I tried the chicken, um, the chicken and mixed vegetable dish and I love adding sriracha, like sriracha mayo and um, mayonnaise. There's this like Chinese mayonnaise I don't want to call it Chinese mayonnaise I'm sorry there's this mayo that I got at the Asian market I don't know what it's called um but yeah it just I just like condiments so feel free to you know eat these dishes however you like I'm just giving you insight to what it is I'm trying to do to cut back on eating terribly and I feel like this is better than you know what I was doing before. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely works for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments um, what you want to see. If you have any questions, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.